time to write about that. So this is one that I wrote a good few years later. Um, your mind was a knock-knock joke in which the door was locked and I couldn't ask who's there. And like most of those jokes, it wasn't funny. Your body was a Rachel White Reed cast of the negative space inside my womb. Your bed was a wicked stepmother. Your lips were distant blue mountains reflected in the still lake of your skin. Your toes were ten green bottles that could accidentally fall. Your fingers were barnacles clinging to your palms. And if there's a god, he shook this planet upside down, trying to fling you off. Your chest was a floodplain. Your lungs were slurping soup, and your brain was on the wrong side of an airlock. Your nose was a docking bay, entered through a plastic tunnel filled with piped in air, each nostril a spaghetti junction of tubes. Your veins were cargo chutes for prostin. Your ductus arteriosus was the postal service, three days before Christmas. Your heartbeat was a conductor's baton on the floor of an orchestra pit out of reach beneath the chairs of string players who tried to carry the tune on a day when half the rhythm section had missed the bus. The wind was stuck in traffic, while the brass leaned over shoulders to share a single piece of sheet music because someone decided to cut printing costs. And meanwhile, your pulse was a golf ball that had bounced off the green and landed in brambles that the man dressed in white was trying 